The moon may be our closest celestial body, but reaching it successfully is far from easy. While we recently witnessed the exceptional landing of the Blue Ghost probe, another similar mission did not achieve the same success, landing incorrectly on the surface of our natural satellite. This only proves the complexity of reaching the moon and landing there with absolute precision. The mission in question was Athena, which managed to land on the moon in a functional state, up to a certain point, but something unbelievable went wrong. In today's video, we will explore how this probe ended up tipping over on the lunar surface. Landing on the moon involves complex challenges that go beyond the absence of an atmosphere. One of the main obstacles is precision in navigation and descent control. Since the moon does not have a GPS system like Earth, spacecraft must rely on optical sensors, laser altimeters, and inertial systems to determine their position and velocity in real time. Small accumulated errors during the journey can lead to significant trajectory challenges. This extreme precision becomes even more critical when landing in areas with irregular terrain, such as craters or slopes, where even a small error can result in a disastrous landing. Another major challenge is lunar regolith, which can be extremely fine and highly abrasive. During landing, the spacecraft's engines can stir up large amounts of dust, obscuring sensors and navigation cameras. As we saw in the successful landing of Blue Ghost in early March 2025, regolith also presents mechanical risks, potentially sticking to critical spacecraft components, wearing down materials, and even compromising the functionality of solar panels. This requires the development of strategies to minimize its effects, such as the use of directional thrusters to disperse dust or protective shields for sensors. Since the spacecraft must slow down in a controlled manner, any miscalculation can jeopardize its ability to perform corrective maneuvers, making a safe landing impossible. This is precisely what happened with the recent Athena mission, which, while managing to land, encountered an unusual problem. For manned missions, the need for additional safety increases the complexity, as any failure could endanger astronauts' lives, requiring redundancy in systems and well-planned emergency protocols. That is why every mistake in these unmanned missions must be thoroughly analyzed. Another crucial factor is lighting and the topography of the landing site. The moon has day and night cycles lasting about 14 Earth days each, meaning lighting conditions can vary drastically depending on the time and location of a landing. In polar regions, where Athena crashed, there are craters that remain permanently shadowed, preventing battery charging if a probe lands incorrectly. The Athena mission by Intuitive Machines aimed to explore the lunar surface in search of water ice, an essential resource for future crewed missions. To achieve this, the probe landed in the Mons Mouton Plateau region near the moon's south pole, where scientists believe preserved ice deposits may exist within permanently shadowed craters. The presence of frozen water could be used to produce breathable oxygen and even rocket fuel, making the moon a strategic hub for long-duration space missions and deep space exploration. Beyond searching for water, the mission also aimed to test new lunar exploration technologies. If everything had gone as planned, the lander would have deployed two 4G antennas upon landing, allowing communication between a deployed rover and mission control, testing an innovative method of surface communication. However, something went terribly wrong. To begin with, the Blue Ghost probe from Firefly Aerospace had successfully landed just days earlier. However, Athena's fate was different. After a tense and uncertain descent, the lunar module tipped over, preventing the full execution of its experiments. The final moments of the landing were nerve-wracking. As Athena approached the surface, engineers at Intuitive Machines closely monitored signals from the lander. Initially, everything seemed within operational parameters, but soon it became evident that something had gone wrong. The lunar surface contact was more abrupt than expected, and one of the lander's legs failed to withstand the impact. As a result, the module tipped onto its side, compromising its orientation and exposure to sunlight. Despite being tilted, the probe was still able to communicate with Earth in the first moments after landing. Engineers attempted to reconfigure its systems to extend the mission, but the poor positioning of the solar panels, combined with the extremely low temperatures in the crater, sealed its fate. The batteries quickly drained, and the possibility of reactivation was ruled out. Before shutting down completely, Athena managed to capture an image that will go down in space exploration history. Earth shining in the background, partially illuminated on the lunar horizon, 
while the fallen module symbolized both the achievements and challenges of space exploration. Its landing legs stretched toward the sky, a testament to the daring attempt to land on one of the most challenging terrains ever visited by a robotic mission. Athena's failure was not the first for this company. In 2024, their Odysseus probe also tipped over upon landing on the moon. Both missions demonstrated the immense complexity of operating in an environment where small errors can have drastic consequences. Despite this setback, the company considered the mission a partial success, as it delivered innovative instruments to the lunar surface and collected valuable scientific data before failing. Athena's payload included crucial equipment for future missions, such as NASA's Prime-1 drill, designed to detect surface ice. The difficulties faced highlight the need for improvements in lander design, concerns engineers had even before launch. Now, the Athena module rests silently on the lunar surface, nearly 400,000 kilometers away from any assistance. With each mission, humanity advances step by step, learning from both its failures and triumphs. One day, astronauts will once again walk on the moon, using the lessons left behind by pioneers like Athena. In the end, while one recent mission succeeded, another failed, that's part of the process. Fortunately, these were not crewed missions, but such errors serve as valuable lessons for the future of lunar exploration. The exploration of the moon remains one of the most fascinating and challenging endeavors in modern spaceflight. Missions like Athena remind us that space exploration is never easy, and every success, or failure, pushes our understanding further. The complexities of landing on the lunar surface, from navigation challenges to the unpredictable nature of lunar regolith, prove that even with advanced technology, space remains an unforgiving frontier. However, failures like Athena's are not setbacks, they are lessons. Each misstep provides invaluable data that helps improve future missions, making landings more precise, spacecraft more resilient, and our dreams of sustainable lunar exploration closer to reality. As we look toward a future where humans return to the moon and establish long-term bases, missions like these lay the groundwork for that giant leap. Now, I want to hear from you. Do you think future lunar missions should focus more on robotic exploration first, perfecting landing technology before sending humans, or is it time to take the risk and push for a crewed mission soon? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, it really helps. And if you're not subscribed yet, I invite you to hit the subscribe button below. See you next time.